We have reached a deal. Major breaking news, the government is reopening and the president says workers will get their back pay. Very quickly or as soon as possible. But it's not over. We have new insights on the bipartisan agreement for a three-week deal. Severe Weather Team 2 is tracking warmer temperatures arriving. But then, what could be the coldest air of the season and the chance for wintry weather next week? Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 4 p.m. Coverage you can count on. We begin with major breaking news, a deal to reopen the government on a Friday. Good afternoon to you. I'm Craig Lucy. Hello, I'm Wendy Corona. President Donald Trump made the announcement from the Rose Garden just about 90 minutes ago. And in the last 30 minutes, Democrats weighed in. That they are willing to put partisanship aside, I think, and put the security of the American people first. House Democrats look forward to working in a bipartisan, bicameral way to pass all of the bills to open government as we proceed into the conference uh, discussion. ABC News is reporting that the agreement does not include funding for the president's border wall, but the White House decided not to declare a national emergency to build it. Now, the president is giving Republicans and Democrats 21 days to reach a deal or the government could shut down again. Channel 2's Richard Belcher is live for us in our newsroom monitoring feeds and information with the late breaking details coming in at this hour. Richard? Greg, five weeks into the longest shutdown in U.S. government history, all agencies of the federal government may soon be open again, but this is not a long-term fix. Thank you very much. The president announced a plan to end the shutdown for now. I am very proud to announce today that we have reached a deal to end the shutdown and reopen the federal government. The deal, which the House and Senate still need to approve, would fund closed government agencies through February 15th. That leaves three weeks to debate the president's request for his proposed border wall funding. I was glad to see today the president's announcement that he and our Democratic colleagues have reached an agreement. Day 35 brought the second payday without salary for 800,000 federal workers it also saw delays at New York's LaGuardia Airport, Newark, Liberty International, and Philadelphia. The cause was a shortage of air traffic controllers among those on the job without pay. A union official blames the government shutdown. You can't mess with a system that is so integral to the United States yeah. um, and their, our economy and our safety. This is, this is reckless. By Friday afternoon, the FAA said the situation was resolved with residual delays remaining. It underscores the strain on essential workers like air traffic controllers, TSA screeners, and FBI employees. Director Christopher Wray issued this message Friday. Making some people stay home when they don't want to and making others show up without pay, it's mind-boggling, it's short-sighted, and it's unfair. The president says federal employees will get their back pay as soon as possible. Lots of loose ends to tie up on this deal. For now, live in the satellite news or in the newsroom, Richard Belcher, Channel 2 Action News.